I said that earlier. No, I said that earlier. Don't steal my my uh, my content, man. All right, Mad Dog. I know Mac Mad Dog McEvan is in the house, so we're gonna listen to his "Going Back to My Roots." Crust Punk. Okay, let's go. Oh shit, the door is in the back there. Plug in some studios and a punk picture. Let's go. Oh shit, yeah, Mark Pit. Dude, I love, like, slow, fast beats like this. <laughs> There's some really good, uh... Celtic Frost, I almost said, but I was thinking about, you know, there's some really good old Swedish death metal bands that it has this really sludgy type of drums. Lawrence, thank you for the free Mount One membership, Ola, you rock. Uh, that was not me, that was another member or someone who purchased a gifted membership. So whoever it was, thank that guy. Okay, Chris Pankuk is available for vocals, everyone, okay? Just as a... Just as a reference, for instance, you know, I do the, the Chug Project songs. And they're ri like they're riffy and instrumental, but, you know, if they're 3.30 uh, seconds long, it's almost too much. They can't be too long if it's just riffing and a little bit of soloing. When it calls for vocals, it calls for vocals. I'm thinking this sounds like, uh, you know, Stockholm Death Metal otherwise. If this was HM2, it would be a, like a really awesome Dismember song. I was listening to the Chuck Frog at the gym, man. I could feel the pump in my muscles. That's great. That's that's what it's supposed to be for. For uh, working out, basically. What device do you use for backing track for the live shows? Uh, I, I don't know. If I do, like... Um, well done, by the way. If I do clinics and shit, I just have my computer. For, uh, for live... I don't know. We only have intros for live with the Haunted, for instance. So it's a pad that uh, Adrian just hits a, a sample and starts an intro. And then we just play the song. All right. Doomslayer. Oh, we listened to this, didn't we? Did we listen to that from above? Oh, well, let's just listen. <laughs> 